I just want to congratulate you on unbelievable career. I think uh, when I look back and the first time we actually played against each other and the competitive drive that I saw within your eyes, even though the knowledge wasn't quite there yet, um, it was very invigorating. Kobe or LeBron? Well, I mean, that's a tough one. I, I would say if you had to pick, you know, between the two, that'd be a tough choice. I mean, but five beats one. And Bryant loving the feeling of being a five-time champ. If I was in my prime, who would I want to play one-on-one? -on -one? Kobe Bryant in his prime. LeBron in his prime, D Wade in his prime. Mellow. That's a good start. Yeah. I don't think I lose. Other than Kobe Bryant because he steals all my moves. I think he knows how to get to you in a way that affects you personally. Even though if he's being a pain in the ass. I went and saw Phil Jackson in 1999 or maybe 2000. I don't know when Phil was here in LA. And I walk in and Kobe's sitting there. And the first thing, I'm in a suit. The first thing Kobe said, did you bring your shoes? <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking about playing. <laughs> but his attitude to compete and play against someone he felt like he could enhance and improve his game. To me, that's what I loved about the kid. Absolutely loved about his, the kid. No matter where he saw me, it was a challenge. And I admired him because his passion, you rarely see someone who's looking and trying to improve each and every day. Kobe was drafted, what, 96? He's a 96 draft, so I was a sixth grader. And when he went straight to the NBA out of high school, I was like, wow, you know, it's something I've always dreamed about. I think Kobe gets an unfair, you know, thing put on him because, oh, you know, and he's definitely um, somebody that you could be around all the time. I don't think he knew that, you know, that I looked up to him as a younger kid and had posters of him on my wall and stuff like that. It's funny because it's like, you know, I've been in the league for such a long time and then you have LeBron that come out of high school, why should you play? It's a tremendous honor to be honest with you. It's cool. Kobe, Kobe, LeBron. Whatever we do is gonna be. Oh, LeBron went to the grocery store. Oh yeah. I only looked at Kobe for him. <clears throat> you know, obviously you've seen a lot of the similarities between, you know, him and Mike. But I appreciate Kobe's game for Kobe's game. Um, you know, the way he played the game, the finesse that he played with. You know, the ball handling, the capabilities, the shooting, everything that he possessed on the floor. You know, I, I, I respect him for who he was as a player. Um, you know, and, and what he was able to, to bring out on the floor, you know, and, um, you know, the fact that he was able to, um, you know, take some things from MJ and, and, and look at some of MJ's DNA and, and actually be able to do it. A lot of people try to do that. A lot of people wish they could take things from some of the greats and implement it into their game and then become successful. They just can't. They don't have the ability to do it or they don't have the drive to do it. They don't have the, the, the mindset to do it, but he actually did it. Um, and did it at a high level for a long, long, long time. And, uh, you know, you can respect that. School. Um, you know, I was growing up through the ranks when Kobe came into the league. He was, um, you know, it wasn't a dream of mine to come straight, you know, from high school at that point in time to the NBA. But I was like, wow, a you 17-year-old, know, 18-year-old kid being able to, to make that leap, that's, that's pretty damn cool. Um, and, and as I started playing more ball and I went into high school, the things that he was doing on the floor, I, you know, admired and wanted to be a part of. Um, I went to ABCD camp and he came and talked to all the all the all the kids that was there and I happened to be one of the one of the kids that was there and I was just I was just listening. I was just trying to soak everything up I could. You know and I remember one thing that he said he was like if you want to try to be you know great at it or want to be one of the greats you got to put the work in. You know there's no substitution to work. And I, and I was a 15 year old kid at that camp, you can actually find the footage of him, uh, him at that camp. Um, as I got drafted, I still just admired him, you know, seeing what he was able to accomplish, winning championships, having, you know, being early in his career where, you know, he, he learned from the misses that he had against the series against Utah, 
and he just used that as motivation and got better and better and better to him winning multiple championships and uh, continued to admire him throughout my high school rank. And, um, and then as competitors, um, just seeing the work ethic, um, the work ethic that he put into the game. He had zero flaws offensively, zero. Uh, you backed off of him, he could shoot the three. You pick, you know, you body him up a little bit. He can go around you. He can shoot the mid range. He can post. He can make free throws. He has zero flaws offensively, and um, you know that's something that I admired as well. Just being a, at a point where the defense will always be at bay, where they can guard you at all offensively, where you just felt like you was just immortal offensively because of your skill set and your work ethic. I don't think you going to take everybody one on one. I know, right? We talking about Kobe? Yeah. He don't let the game come to him. Mm -hmm. no, he just walked in deep. He's going to take people. He's going to make him dead. Make this shit happen. I'm going to make this a one-on-one -on -one game. Now, everybody is excited about this showdown between you and Kobe. Now, how do you see it the first half? Well, first of all, I don't consider it a showdown, but I think that, you know, we, we both are trying to do our job to entertain and we're trying to play as hard and not try to isolate ourselves away from the rest of the players. So, I mean, in the mix of that, we will have our, our times where we go one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm not going to try to do it too often because I, I don't want to take away from the other guys being here. But you will not shy away from that isolation. Well, I will defend myself without a doubt. <laughs> all right, let's go down to gym. On Sunday. The hike was me against him, and I know I wasn't. 100%, you know, and he was. He was looking, he was biting at the bit. A third All-Star MVP award for Jordan as his East team ran off by 21 points. I just wanted to make sure I, that Kobe didn't dominate me. Felt good. I thought I was going to be nervous. I thought you know, I was going to be all shaky. Uh, but, you know, the ball went up. We have been down the court a few times. I felt fine. In the past, the All-Star game has sort of been a get-together of stars, sure. of guys that have been stars for a long time in the league. Right. This year, Seven first-time All-Stars. The younger guys get so nervous and so tense about stepping on the court with all the other superstars or All-Stars, uh, not knowing how they fit in, not knowing if they're going to fit in. Uh, that's the beauty of it all, and it's like looking in a mirror. You know, this is how I was. The young fella, Kobe. I remember I was young like that. Uh, he certainly has a lot of skills, and you see that. And you know, he's got a lot of confidence, and I think it's just a matter of time for him. You know, he's, you, when you realize how good he is, he's actually in his second year of college, and uh, well, certainly he's learned a lot. He's in, he's in a top, he's in a top league actually, and he's certainly going to learn a lot more. He's going to be a lot better if he keeps improving. Any, uh, did you impart any wisdom to him throughout the game? Oh yeah, he asked me one question when we were down there. Uh, you know, been down to half court, and he wanted to know how, when I turn around on my jump shot, how to lock the defense and how to get the feel the defense. I told him you should feel the defense with your legs. Once you feel the defense with your leg, you more or less got to feel where the defense is, and you can take advantage of that. So you 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 don't have a problem giving away trade secrets during the game? Not at all. You know, it's just a matter of you know. I think that that enhances his his basketball skill, and you know, uh, someone did that for me, and certainly I. I'm not against giving him any kind of, you know, hints about his game if he asks. I'm certainly not going to, you know, come out and, and try to, you know, give him too much information. The kids, he's learned a lot in, in a short amount of time he's been in the league, and believe me, he's going to continue to learn. I'd just like to wonder what he would have done in the Carolina blue uniform, yeah. right? <laughs> so that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure I smash a like button. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And also subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We will be releasing daily videos for all of 2022, like I said. And also make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought. I will be responding to all the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.